In this worked example, we're going to show you how to work out if the universe is expanding at an accelerating rate, so whether there is dark energy or not. We have data, a column of redshifts for different supernovae, and the distance in gigaparsecs measured to each of these. So we need to use these two columns to come up with a plot of the size of the universe against time and see which way it curves. Now I'm going to do this in Excel, but you can use any spreadsheet or indeed do it just with paper and pencil and graph paper. So we know redshift and we know distance. What we actually need to plot is time and scale factor. Let's have time and scale factor, or we call that A of T. Now what's the time? Well, let's define time right now as zero. The bigger the distance, the further before now the light set out. Now these are in gigaparsecs. If you measure the time in giga years, so billions of years, a parsec is 3.08 light years, so just have to multiply by 3.08. However, there's another complication. This is time before the present. If something's very far away, that means the light set had a long time ago. So what we need here is an equation minus so minus this times 3.08 to convert to years from parsecs. So what you'll find is the objects that are more distant, the light set out earlier, so it's telling you about the scale factor of the universe at an earlier time, a more negative time. Now let's look at the scale factor. Scale factor is given by 1 over 1 plus the redshift, because 1 plus the redshift, so if redshift is 0.5, that means the universe was 1 over 1.5 times its current size. So that's just equal to 1 over 1 plus redshift. I'm going to apply that to all the rows. Okay, so we have the time and we have the scale factor. Let's plot them. So select them in Excel, insert, recommended chart will probably come out right. Okay. So here we have a plot showing the scale factor against time. And it seems to be steeper here and curving up. It's a little hard to tell. Let's draw a straight line to check. So we are by definition at scale factor one and time zero. So if we draw a line through the most recent data points, it does a fairly good job of fitting. But then the more distant ones are below the line. So what's this telling us is the universe, given these set of data, started off expanding rapidly and has been slowing down. So this is not a universe with dark energy. It's a universe that's dominated by uh, matter or radiation, so it starts off fast and slows down.